Good afternoon, YouTube. I wanted to do an update on my biogas system. It's uh, been around six months since I bought it. Not quite, but almost there. Just wanted to shoot a quick video with some problems I've noticed, as well as some things I've observed in the past six months. So, as you guys can tell, there is a lot of gas in this balloon. Um, over the summer, this has really, really increased, and it's uh, been pretty steady. So, when I use any gas for cooking, typically it will refill within a day or less. And so, you can tell that's sagging just a tiny, tiny bit. That's normally poofed all the way up. Um, that's because I have used a little bit this morning already. But uh, this, this has been working pretty well so far. Um, I don't put a lot of table scraps in this. I do some when I have some some uh, kitchen waste and whatnot, but generally this is mostly sewage. So something I've also noticed is this balloon is always full. It doesn't matter how much I cook, um, this thing can go, I cooked for at least an hour one time, you can cook up to three hours per day, um, but this will sag way down and go down, but the next day it'll be pretty much full again. Now of course re your results will vary, depends on what your temperatures are and what your summers are like. In North Carolina it's pretty warm, and so it fills up pretty quick. But I've been thinking a lot about it, so this thing produces more than I can use. It's always venting off. I'll be out here and I'll hear the back, it'll just be gurgling away, it'll just be releasing all that methane up into the atmosphere. And so what I've been considering doing is getting a multi-fuel generator and tapping it into this. So during the peak uh, season, uh, when most people are using electricity, I can turn on that generator and use it for a good probably three hours a day. And so I'm gonna make another video with that and see how it does. My, my thought process is I will run that almost all the way down and then stop and then let it build back up and the next day I'll build it, run it all the way down again so I can use more of my methane. Because right now I'm just, I'm losing most of my energy. I could get another balloon, I thought of that too, and just have several in sync side by side, but I don't know how it's gonna do in the fall. And so for right now I'm just gonna keep what I have and uh, install a multi-fuel. You can buy them off Amazon. They, there is some that run off methane and uh, I'll just run it down. That way I'm using more instead of just losing energy. And so that, that's something I'll do a, a review video on later. As far as the toilet goes, I haven't really had any issues with it. Um, the review I had beforehand kind of stands. One of the biggest things is a little bit of the dirt in the bowl. This, I didn't clean it on purpose, so I want to show you guys. So when you're flushing with gray water, you're just going to have that. That's actually clean water there. That's not dirty water. So you're going to have to deal with scum in the bowl and stuff like that, which is not really that big of a setback. Um, I love the bidet attachment, uh, just for personal reasons, but also because in cleaning mode, it will pretty much fill the bowl with fresh water. So it's kind of an easy way of flushing. If you're doing your number two business, um, and then you want to flush by the time you're done using this thing the bulls already somewhat full of water and you can just flush it straight down and you really don't even need gray water plus it's clean water fills the bowl with that if you're having guests over and whatnot it's just another way of adding water to flush so most of the time i have this switched to number one and when i'm flushing it i just flush it straight down and um and then have this on and so it's filling it while I flush. So there's that. Uh, one of the things I've noticed about flushing with gray water, which is the number two section here, is it tends to get a little blocked. Now there is a filter on the back side of that down there that you have to change. I change it about once a month. Uh, you don't have to change it that much. It depends on how much you use it. But uh, the pipe in the gray water tank um, keeps getting blocked. And so I have to, uh, kind of jostle the pipe around. Now I do flush my gray water tank quite a bit to keep all the all the heavier stuff out of it, but uh, I've noticed when I am flushing this, there'll be some back pressure on this um, when, I'm, when I'm pumping it and you, you'll hear a little bit of a whine. Um, and so water will go through, but it doesn't go through as much and as quickly and as easy as it did before. Um, because there's always something in there that's uh, causing it. And, and like I said, I'm always moving the pipe around, I'm always flushing it, because I use my gray water tank a lot, because I live in here. And so that is something you may notice, but it's not a big deal. Um, I do like flushing with gray water, but most of the time when I do flush, it's using this, because I've done my business, my number two business, it's filled the, the bowl pretty much full because I'm done, and when I flush it, it just all goes down, and then I'll just use this to fill it full of clean water, especially if company's coming over. 
Um, I don't like it look like I just pissed in it when someone else uses the toilet. Other than that, it's it's been fine though. Um, haven't really had any issues with it. I'm a little concerned about the pump with uh, with the back pressure with flushing with the gray water, and so we'll see how that holds up um, over time. So as soon as the balloon out there filled up all the way, this thing started self-lighting pretty quick. Um, I don't know if you guys remember before when I tried to light it, it just wouldn't light. I had to use um, a lighter because there wasn't enough pressure. Now that there's enough pressure, it's fine. However, in the last week or so, I've noticed that this hasn't been lighting as well. I've been using this quite a bit and I've had to, there's a trick to it to get it to light itself. And so I'm going to light it real quick and show you guys how it works. There we go. Just turn off the light. So the burner has been working great. I mean, that is, uh, I actually had to adjust it down. The flames were shooting up to about here and, and I adjusted it down where there, there's two uh, valves down there. You can adjust how much air goes in. But this works well. Um, cooking with methane has been so much different than cooking with propane. That's on high right there. Uh, methane is a very hot gas and I can boil water in half the time it takes for me to cook with propane. Uh, the downside is it gets really, really hot in here. Uh, when you're cooking with propane, it just doesn't get near as much. There's not as much heat that, that comes off from it. Now, I do have a fan above this that does exhaust all the heat out, but cooking in here has just been, it's just been really, really, it's like a furnace. And that's with most kitchens. And of course, I'm in a tiny house application, so it's going to be a little different for me. Um, this thing is large. Um, other than the striking thing, you have to fiddle with it before you just click it over and it goes. Now you have to kind of wait for a bit and then snap it before it, it'll light. Sometimes you've got to try it three times. So I think the flint thing is starting to wear out a little bit. And that's, I guess, normal with use. But, but this has been working fine. Um, it's very hot. I can cook very quickly. Uh, that's what I like about it is dinner is taking half the time now because that flame is just powerful and that right there that you're looking at is basically from my sewage and kitchen scraps so that's pretty much reusable energy right there and so I do like it it's nice um, haven't really had any issues uh, with this application here if I had to do it again I'd probably buy the smaller one because um, I mean this thing takes up a lot of space or I'll just take this apart and cut a hole in the, in the countertop and I'll just sink it into the countertop. Um, but that's not really an issue over time. Um, it's held up pretty well so far and haven't really had any major complaints from that. You can see there turning it down to low and I'm gonna and then it goes way down and then you can turn it up and then it turns. Anyway, so no issues with this. The last thing I wanted to end with is smell and effluent. As far as smell, this unit really does not smell a lot. Uh, you catch a slight odor when you walk over here next to it, but that's, that's basically normal. Uh, most of the smell is coming from the effluent, not the unit itself. When I say effluent, I mean the runoff. So when you order this, they, they give you several different suggestions as far as what you can do with the extra when, as it goes in that comes out. And so I just have it going into a five gallon bucket. For one single person, I've noticed I've had to empty that about once a week to once every two weeks, depending on how many people I have over. But it averages about 1.5 uh, weeks before I have to do anything with this. I just take this and dump it on plants and stuff that I'm growing, and it helps them pretty well. And so it's pretty much fertilizer. You can use liquid fertilizer. Um, now you can pipe this into an underground system, or you can pipe this into a standing system. They give you several suggestions you can use. I find it easier just to do this because I'm a single guy, and so for me it's, it's pretty easy to to uh, just dump that out onto some um, plants once every two weeks. So the, most of the smell comes from this and it doesn't really smell that bad. Um, you don't smell it unless there's a breeze blowing your way and it's just faint. You might catch a little bit of a whiff if you walk next to it, but by and large, I mean, I'm standing right next to this and I can't smell anything given that bucket is uh, pretty empty. Other than that, this is the end of the review. I will do another review when it becomes the fall just to see how this heat uh, keeps up with the lack of hot temperatures and just how much energy I have to supplement with and whatnot. But hope you guys are having a good day.